Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We are ready for part two of this Ford Transit Connect 1.5 TDCI. We, in the last video, got the head off. As you can see, it was all damaged, needed rebuilding. And we finally got it back this morning from the machine shop and it's all done. So let's take a look and see what we're working with. So we have our package, have all the old valves. Six out of the eight valves were bent, so we've had to replace those. Just see if we can reveal the head. So, we have our head all done. It has been skimmed very lightly, just so we've got a perfect surface. We've got our new valves already lapped in. And it's all cleaned up, ready to go. So now we're gonna start the rebuild process. Okay, now we have our head back on. Our head bolts are all in, torqued up to spec. We've put our glow plugs back in. We've got our cam followers in. And we've just doused a little bit of oil in there. And we've got our new O-rings on here. So now, that stage is done so we can start stage two of the rebuilding up the head and hopefully get it running today okay so the next bit's now on we have all the lifters followers all in the uh, cam housing there all done in done up talked up all ready for the next bit so let's get the cam let's get the cam fitted get this thing built up Okay, parts are disappearing, which means they're going back on. So we are at this stage now where we have the cam in, all the covers are sealed. We've now got the injectors in, the glow plugs and the wiring's all in for there. The thermostat housing, new gasket, all new gaskets throughout. Everything talked down to spec using data sheet. And um, yeah, we've got our little timing pin in there. So we know that's all timed up. That's all talked down, so that's all good. So now we've just got to carry on. We're going to start at this end. This is the order we took it off. So this is the order we're going to put it back on. So yeah, next we're going to have that bracket, inlet pipe, then we do up the EGR valve, and then we'll start on the front, which is the exhaust manifold, turbo, etc. And then hopefully, be another few hours and we should have what looks like an engine. So we've just done the next stage of parts. We've put the inlet pipe in, some wiring back on, put this bracket back on. We've made sure everything's done up. Injector feeds are done up. All the fuel pipes are in the right locations. The EGR valve is also done up down the back. So now the back section there is done. We can start getting moving all this wiring back into place. We can get the rest of the top end on, and then we're gonna move down to the front. In fact, I think we'll probably get the front on first before we put anything on the top, just to make sure. And then we'll put our cam belt and water pump in. And that's it, guys. We are nearly there. It's a long old process. But as long as you take your time and do it nice and slow, have everything laid out so you know where it all goes. Hopefully nothing will go wrong. Fingers crossed, shouldn't have said that, but wait and see. Okay, so the pile's getting smaller. As I'm going, I'm cleaning up all the mated surfaces just with a wire wheel. Obviously, we've got a new exhaust gasket and stuff. So we've just put the exhaust manifold on, new gasket, just reinstalled the turbo, done everything up nice and tight. So we're gonna move on to the next stage now, we'll probably get the vacuum pump fitted on the back. And then, yeah, guys, it's starting to come together. And more parts on we've got the vacuum pump on the back now we've got our injector wiring leak off pipes all on turbos all stitched up all feeds on and tight put his little jacket on um yeah lambda sensors down and plugged in down the bottom so we're looking good so now we've just got to carry on get the fuel filter and housing on over this side Get some top of the turbo pipes on, get the rocker cover on, new gasket obviously, and then we are getting close. 
So I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Maybe hit that subscribe button if you like the content, if you want to see more. But stay tuned because we're going to get this thing running very shortly. Now uh, looking good. Fuel filter, fuel filter housing, all wired in, all plumbed in. Got a load of the vacuum pipes back on. Um, this one goes to the air box. But yeah, all of that side's now done. So now we are going to move on, try and get this top cover on, get the turbo pipes back on, hopefully get the cam belt fitted. New water pump, let's go. It's been a few days now. Obviously we had a couple of days off over the Easter period. So happy Easter everyone. Hope you had a fantastic weekend full of chocolate, sickness, and all the other good stuff that goes with that. So we're back on this Ford Transit Connect, and as you last saw, we started putting it all back together. We've got a load of bits on, and now we're moving over to the Campbell water pump side, which is fantastic. Apart from, we've just ran into a little complication. We took the water pump out, and the new one that went to fit in is actually incorrect. So we're just waiting on the parts to turn up now so we can crack on, get the new water pump installed. We've got all our timing pins in, which I'll show you now. So we've got our timing pins in, we've got the cam one in there, we've put a bolt in for the fuel pump down there, and the lower one, we just used a drill bit, which is all good. Um, as you can see, the water pump is out, the face is all cleaned up, ready to go. There's the old water pump, we changed that just as a matter of course, because we don't want any more problems. This geezer wants to get back on the road, get working, earn the dollar. So, we are just gonna wait for this part to turn up, and which will seem like seconds for you guys, but me probably in eternity waiting for certain part suppliers to turn up. And um, yeah, we're not gonna fit this top cover just yet. We're gonna wait, we're gonna get all this side on and then we're gonna turn it over by hand just to make sure everything is hunky-dory and then we'll get the, the top done. Just gotta drain the oil, put a new oil filter on it and then we will be ready to start hopefully. So stay tuned. Okay, now we're back. We've got our parts from the uh, part supplier. Can you leave me a comment down below guessing which part supplier you think it is? And also tell me about your part suppliers in your local area, what they're like, if they're any good, what they're called, etc. I think it may be helpful for other people. So we've got a new water pump and our idler pulley. Everything else is ready to go. So we're going to get our belt and put the belt on and then uh, hopefully turn it over and see if she's golden. And there we have it. New water pump, new tensioner, new idler, new belt, all fitted on. Timing tools are now taken out and we are ready to turn it over 10 times as per the manual says, just to make sure everything lines back up. And then we'll put our timing pins back in. If everything lines up as it should, then we are good to reassemble the top and hopefully have a start. Okay, we just turned it over a whole bunch of times and now we can get our timing pin and that slots in nicely. The fuel pump lines up and I've just put the drill bit in down on the crank pulley and that lines up perfectly. So everything lines up, nothing hit, nothing flew out. And here we are, intake pipe, boost pipes, top cover, all on, everything in its little clips and holders. All down there's all on, everything's tightened up, nice and tight. So now we literally have left just uh, some cam belt covers, bottom pulley, engine mount, obviously the scuttle panel wipers, blades, and all of that jazz. But the bulk of it is nearly there. We actually look like we have an engine. The okay, engine is now supported under its own weight. All of the engine mounts back on. So now we're gonna go up in the air put on our bottom pulley and finish off putting all the, the crank sensor and the cases and everything on. But yeah, Jack's finally out. He can now go home and we can carry on. Right, now we're up in the air. You can see the lovely new water pump. All the teeth are on the belt and we are ready to put the covers back on and go. So just a little update, here we go. There we go, all done underneath here now. So we've got our timing cover on, we've put our wiring back together, bottom pulley on, crank sensor on, everything's all lined up. So we've just got to throw on the auxiliary belt and drain the oil, put a new one and filter in it. Okay, so here we go. We've just topped up 
oil, we've changed the oil filter, we've put in some coolant, top end is there, the battery's now reconnected, so we are now going to see if we can jump in. And start her up, but we've left the crank sensor off because we need it to build up oil pressure and wait for that oil light to go out. So let's see how we go. That's one lot of cranking. That's two lots of cranking. I have to put the battery charger on. I'm hoping this light actually goes out. That's three lots of cranking. We're gonna go and chuck a battery charger on it. And um, I'm just gonna go and find out whether that oil light does go out under cranking or whether we just need to start it. It will have plenty of oil up there now if the oil pressure is good. Um, so we might just put the crank sensor back in and fire her up and see how we go. Okay, so we've just plugged the crank sensor back in. So now we're just gonna see if it will fire or see what it does. Well, I'm a happy boy. Obviously to hear an engine run after all that work, it's, it's very good, it's music to my ears. So now we've got that sorted, we can then put the scuttle panel on, put the top cover on, put everything back on, button it up, and then go for a road test, get this thing hot, make sure the coolant level's okay, make sure all level's okay, and hopefully get it out the door tomorrow morning. Running, there's no leaky leaky. We're all good. See, so still got the top cover up there. Let's see down there, man. It's all looking good. She sounds good as well. So now we can get these on, get that cover, get this whole lot cleaned up, get everything cleaned up. It's like a bomb's gone off in here with tools everywhere. Okay, that's everything back on as it should be. Everything is tucked up nice. Starts and runs on the button. Well guys, that's road test done, everything done. Uh, we've topped up the antifreeze um, and code read it, deleted the camshaft or the crankshaft position code because that was the only one left in there. Um, we're going to run this van for this evening and tomorrow just to make sure it's okay before it goes back to the customer But we managed to save it We didn't have to put an engine in it and all we done was rebuilt the head put a load of new parts on and she is good as gold Hopefully, hopefully do another hundred thousand miles. No problems at all But that's it for today's video. So if you like this style of content um, rather than the full strip down I just do you know part to part um, then give us a subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, let me know all your thoughts down below and I'll see you in the next one.